This video covers the Excel style conditional formatting feature. You will learn about the features available to end users, see what types of formatting are available, and how to set up conditional formatting at design time or in code. To allow end users to apply conditional formatting to grid columns at runtime, expand the View's Options menu property and enable the Show Conditional Formatting Item option. Run the application. Now end users can right-click a column and select Conditional Formatting to invoke the Conditional Formatting menu. Let's try a few different data formats and start with the Data Bar style. As you can see, end users only need to pick a style and the grid automatically displays the value bars that simplify data analysis. The next format I'll try is Star's Icon Set. This style uses star icons, from empty to completely filled, to indicate how big or small column values are. End users can apply multiple format rules to a column. Let's additionally set a two-color scale format for the same column. This format indicates value magnitudes using cell background colors. Certain format rules require end users to enter additional settings in dialog windows. For instance, select Top Bottom Rules and then Top 10 Items. In the dialog, enter a cutoff value of 15. Choose the Green Fill with Green Text style and click OK. As a result, 15 top values in the column are highlighted. If you've already applied one or more rules to columns, the Clear Rules submenu becomes available. It allows you to delete rules from one or all columns. Now let's see how to create a format rule and apply it to the grid control at design time. You can access and create format rules by selecting a grid controls view and using the Format Rules Collection Editor. An easier way to do this is by using the Grid Designer. Choose the Appearance category and switch to the Style Format Rules page. To create a new format rule, click Add. Set the column property to the State column. This column provides values for the formatting rule. By default, the style settings are applied to cells in the same column. If required, you can apply formatting to another column by setting the Column Apply To property. Next, you need to select the rule type from the drop-down list. To highlight states that start with the letter N, choose the format based on user-defined expression. Use the predefined name property to apply a predefined red bold text style to target cells. Then, Specify criteria for the rule using the expression editor. Filter the function list to only display string functions. Next, locate the starts with item and double click it to insert it to the editor control. Let's find the state field and specify it as the first parameter of the function and enter the in character as the second parameter. After that, you can switch to the rule tab and see the selected styles preview. Let's run the application. The format highlights the state column cells that start with the letter N. Now let's see how to create new format rules and customize the created rules in code. I already have the Change Format Rule button in the ribbon control. Let's modify the existing format rule in its click event handler. Use the Format Rules property to access the rule collection. The indexer returns an object of the base Format Condition Rules base class from which all rule types derive. This means you need to cast the rule object to the required type, and then you can access the expression property. I also apply the format to entire rows instead of individual cells using the Apply to Row property. Now let's run the application and click the Change Format Rule button to see the result. Now the format is applied to the grid's rows whose state value starts with the letter M.